So are you someone who prefers the keyboard over the mouse or touchscreen experience? This video is for you. So let's jump right in. So in this guide, I'll be showing you how to go through your Discord servers, channels, text messages, reactions, etc. with just your keyboard. So to get started, you want Discord on your taskbar to have a quick launch shortcut available. For me, it's Windows and 9. You can look at the number of shortcuts between the start menu and Discord to find out the number the shortcut key is. For me, it's nine. Just press Windows and nine and it will launch Discord. Once you're in, you should land on the friend list slash online page. So to get started, what I've done is actually put my preferred server at the bottom of the list of servers. So I can just press Control Alt up to just go directly to the last server in the list. You can go through all the servers by using Control Alt up and down arrow keys to browse between servers. The same thing goes with channels inside the server. So you just press Alt up or down to go through the channel. You can only go through text channels with Alt. How about if you want to go to the previous server and previous channel you're in without, you know, going through Control Alt up, down, all that again. What you can do is just press Alt back or Alt front. So Alt left arrow or Alt right arrow. That will take you back to the previous channel or server you're in and forward will take you back to where you were. So it's basically like undo redo on a, any application. Now, once you're in the text channel using the keyboard, you'd want to actually react to a message, edit an old message, pin it, etc. So to do that, you just have to hit tab once. Once you hit it, press the up arrow key to highlight the message you want to do um, anything with. Press E to edit, backspace to delete, P to pin, plus to add reaction, and R to reply. Those are just some of them, but you can access the whole list by pressing Control forward slash, which will give you all command lists that are default on Discord. All those commands were related to the text part of the channel. What about the voice channels? To get into voice channels, you'd need to use Quick Switcher, which is default shortcut Control K. Once you press Control K, you'd get a search bar kind of thing. You can just type exclamation point, then the voice channel name, and then you'll find it. You can also go to text channels using this by just typing the channel name. So you can say general, but generally a lot of servers have a channel name general. So you can do general space server name, and that'll take you right to that server's general channel. Now those all are the default shortcuts, but that's not enough for us, right? So you just press the settings button. You can still do it with the keyboard. Just need a lot of tab presses. So you keep hitting tab until you reach settings and keybinds. Once you're in keybinds, customize it to your heart's content. This is what mine looks like. There are no limits from Discord on how many keybinds you can have. And pro tip, you can actually keybind your controllers for muting, deafening, etc. starting streams. So you don't have to actually reach for a keyboard or mouse while playing a controller game. So that's pretty handy as well. So at any point, if you want to look at all the shortcuts that I mentioned in this video, and some of them are not in the list, just press control forward slash on your keyboard on Discord and that will open the shortcuts for you. Now, there are a few Easter eggs here. So there's this one music one. And then there's this Tekken one. If we can press HH dash BK or something. And that will do this. And of course, if you didn't know already, press Alt F4 to get out of Discord. But you probably already know that. Anyway, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe and share with your friends. Hit that bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload a new video. I do two videos a week now, minimum. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Cheers.